All right. Hello, Idiots on Parade, the two ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hi, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vebra, stand-up comedian in New York City. I am Nathan Timmel, stand-up comedian in Iowa City, adjusting the mic to screen because I thought I was closer than I was. Uh, Furnace just kicked off. That's good. That means there shouldn't be any background noise. Let's get to it. There's a homeless man being stabbed outside my window right now, but no uh, furnace. So, yeah, I mean, good on uh, one of those two things. You live in New York. That just happens. It happens. When, when isn't there a homeless guy getting stabbed outside your window? I get, I get, honestly, it's creepy when it's not happening. You know, it becomes kind of like uh, the subway noise in the Blues Brothers. Like if you're trying to fall asleep and you don't hear a homeless guy getting stabbed, you're like, I, I can't sleep. What the, I can't focus. You know, there, you get so used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, my kid's white noise machine is just motherfucker. Ah, ah. Like that's the whole thing. <laughs> it's that on a loop. Do you use a white noise machine? Uh not really. I, I do. You know, I've, I've loved one my whole life. I well, you know what I do actually is I have like a sleep mask with a Bluetooth that's kind of cool. Oh, my wife wears one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I Spotify has a playlist that's like deep sleep where it's basically yeah. you can just do uh songs that are more or less white noise. It'll be just ambient noise, it'll be yeah. one note for like 20 minutes, like dung and so on and so on for like 15 okay. minutes. All right, Jake, shall we get to it? Yeah, let's do it. I didn't send you any links about this because it was the biggest news story, but let's just start with Kevin McCarthy. I uh I figured out a way um that I think i could describe it to someone that lives outside the country or doesn't really understand what happened and uh, i'll do this really quick good because uh, i was covering it all last week for for work and i'm still fucking baffled by that shit oh well i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna relate uh the situation to imagine a guy asking a girl out on a date and she says no and he says okay well I promise I'll bring a condom for after. And she says, ew, no. And he says, okay, well, I promise I won't try and kiss you at, at the end of the date. And she goes, ew, no. And he goes, okay, well, I, I promise I won't try and hold your hand. And this keeps going until at the end of it all, he says, okay, I promise that if you agree to go on a date with me, I will sit home by myself. I will have an Uber pick you up, take you to a restaurant. You order whatever you want. You eat. They'll have my credit card, so I'll pay for it. Then the Uber will take you to a movie. You choose what movie. You go. You enjoy the movie. And when you're done, the Uber will take you home. And I will not have been with you the entire time. And that was our date. And that's essentially what happened with Kevin McCarthy. He kept asking them out. They kept saying no. So he kept offering concessions until they said yes. And now he has basically little to no fucking power but hey he's the speaker that's what happened yeah he's speaker in name only he actually to get those last couple votes he had to release an nft of him blowing trump while trump shot him in the head with with laser beams from his eyes it was crazy there was a moment uh i don't remember the representative did you see this that uh, marjorie taylor green got trump on the phone and there was a shot of yeah. her trying to give the phone to someone that was voting no. And the guy brought like, nah, don't care. I'm going to still vote like, no. Fuck you. It's, he's <laughs> going to try to sell me crypto or something. I don't, I, nah, it's, we're done with him. I think uh, my favorite part of it all was the fact that uh, people kept, no, actually, I have two favorite parts. One was the fact people brought up the fact uh, he had said in the past, I can't wait till uh, Nancy Pelosi hands me that gavel. It's going to be so humiliating for her. Ha ha ha. Yeah, who is humiliated now? But no, my, she handed his party the gavel and his party was like, no, nah, we don't like you. And then he was like, come on, I cave on on pretty much all your stuff. And then after a few votes, I loved it because he he they're holding out on him. They won't cave. And I, I, I mean, he caves and then they're like, no, nah, you came too easy. We don't trust yeah. you. If you came for us, you'll be caving for AOC tomorrow. And uh, some blonde haired or, or some blue haired lady in Portland the next day. You could be you could be you could be doing this for anybody. Did you did you see that shot of AOC? She gave an interview. Uh, there was a picture of her talking to some uh, member of the right wing delegation. Uh, someone Gates, that was right? what's that? Was it Matt Gates? I saw that one. No, it wasn't. Uh, she talked to him, too. But there was someone. Be it was before she talked to Gates. It was on like day one where. 
uh, he approached her and said, hey, can can you Democrats help us vote McCarthy? And we only need a few of you. And she's like, no, fuck you. Why would we vote for McCarthy? Like they actually yeah. went to AOC before trying to deal with uh, Bo Bear and uh, her holdouts, which was hilarious. Yeah, I, I do. You know, and, and the thing is, is that's why I think that like Congress is stupid if, you know, minute one hour one of today. Now that that shit's wrapped up, you got a speaker of the house. The first issue you vote on is we got to change the way we vote for speaker of the house. Cause that was <laughs> fucking ridiculous last week. And look, I get the idea uh, and the spirit of why you would want like 50% of Congress to have to vote for the speaker. Yeah. Because if, if the speaker of the house is somebody who technically less than 50% of the people voted for, does he or she truly represent the house? You can make the argument. No, that said, after about three times, you kind of got to throw up your hands and say, fuck it. We gave it the college try. This guy's got 48%. Nobody else has that much. He's a speaker of the house. Sorry. Or you have him paper, rock, scissors, or you have them fucking <laughs> kick each other in the balls to see who falls over. Like Rochambeau. Yeah, 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 I couldn't think of the word. Rochambeau. <laughs> they could have literally put them on horses and had them joust after 10 times, and it would have been less dark ages and fucking crazy than what they were doing. Well, it reminds me of, uh, for president, it's just majority wins. If 40% of the population doesn't vote and one person wins the people that, it's not like Georgia where there's a runoff like, oh, one person right. didn't get 50 percent. So Even we have that to do it again. Better. Even that would have been a better system or yeah. rank choice choice voting like some literally anything, literally having a witch doctor come in. And after after five, ten times having a witch doctor cut open a chicken's tummy and move them around and go, nah, I think McCarthy's got this one like that would have been a better choice than what the hell they did did in terms of like you know the method of voting right uh very quickly my favorite thing uh however was um oh god i just drew a blank on her name uh katie porter did you see the picture of her no i don't think i did she was sitting there uh very obviously and very uh fraudulently but still beautiful uh yeah. reading a copy of the subtle art of not giving a fuck oh i did i did see that that was pretty good that was, <laughs> that was pretty, i didn't realize good. who that was i tried that reading was that book that book uh is very well marketed it is a chapter uh that it's something that could have been a blog turned into an entire book that the guy made millions on and you try and read you're like okay i get the gist of what you're saying in 10 pages you didn't need to write a book but god bless you for turning your blog into a book and making bank on it could have been summed up in a series of tweets. Yeah, pretty much. Kind of like, uh, kind of like the secret. Could have been like, oh, I just wish it real hard. Exact, just wish I it. remember that. Yes, yes, I remember the secret. There was a video on that too. I I watched part of. Just like, it, what's the? Uh, one uh, next story that I did not send you. I just thought this was cute because I saw it this morning. You saw what happened in Brazil, right? Yeah, they would like storm the capital or something. I, yeah, yeah. Work out. um. Now, the, the the initial reaction people had was, uh, oh, copycats, why do the right wing assholes always uh, act the worst in every country? The thing I saw this morning, the only reason I'm bringing it up is because I read a thing, an article that said this has not happened in Brazil since the 1980s, which I thought was pretty hilarious, where we call January 6th. Oh, nothing like this has ever happened before. Where in Brazil, it's sort of like, hey, nostalgia. We used to do this all the time. Remember, we'd get pissed at the government and try and overthrow. I mean, that happens right. in South America, <laughs> you know, Chile, Peru. I mean, it happens nonstop. So. Yep. Wait, dude, I South America's looking at us going, we have real insurrections down here. Your shit was tied up and fucking done in two hours, and they were voting again that day. They had the doo-doo cleaned off the desks and everything. Yeah, we we you, we you brought tear gas and, and the military to our insurrection. It was you a, had a guy wearing a, a caveman outfit. Yeah, it, it was. they were like LARPing. It was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> You, they were pretending they were our insurrectionists. All right. Let's jump to the news. We had I... large chunks of our population get Ashley Babbitt. It was fucking crazy. We <laughs> had to bury our Ashley Babbitt's in a mass grave. There was too many to count. Oh, and uh, yeah. 
I saw Trump uh, gave a statement after Ashley Babbitt's mother was arrested saying, how dare the police arrest this woman? The hey, uh, fuck face. Your lies are what caused Ashley Babbitt to get killed. Maybe take responsibility for that instead of getting angry at the police for arresting a grieving mother who, I hate to say it, was acting belligerently. Like, if, if I get it, you lost your daughter. I cannot imagine losing a child. It's got to be the most painful thing ever at no matter what age. If the cops tell you go protest on the sidewalk, you kind of got to go protest on the sidewalk. You know, yeah, but that said, I you know I can't blame a parent for acting irrationally. If no, their neither can. Kid oh, gets I mean, killed or, or whatever. That said, uh, uh, yeah, Trump will not do that. Instead, he will make an NFT of ba- Ashley Babbitt getting shot and share none of the money with her mother. Yes, that is exactly. All right, let's jump to the stories I did send you. It's going to be odd going from actual news to uh, one of my favorite topics, which is my hatred of the media. Um, my clickbait story of the week. Uh, the headline is Jeremy Renner's snowplow accident. Everything we know so far. Now, everybody uh, might forget that uh, all the focus was on DeMar Hamlin of the Bills last week. I was focused on him. Uh, did did you see that hit real time? I did not. No, uh, I, I just saw I, the... I missed it by a little bit. I, did you get uh, wrapped up in it on Monday night? Because I immediately did. I mean, my wife and I, we, we were yeah, I was following it. I mean, yeah. you know. So, but people forget that Jeremy Renner was also injured around the same time. Yeah. And had a snow, uh, snow cat roll over on him is what we're finding out today. We are recording on uh, the 9th of January, but this article was written on January 3rd. I pulled this article, Jeremy Renner's snowplow accident, everything we know so far. And if you scroll down, uh, I have to hit the story. Either way, at some point in this article, it says, as of this writing, we have no new information. Then why the fuck are you writing the article? It is complete clickbait. Hey, here's everything we know. It's everything you read yesterday. We have no updates. This is just a rehash. We slapped a title on it. So you'll click, which I did because it's clickbait to see, ooh, is there new? Inf- nope. As of this writing, we have no new information. Good job, reporters and media just spitting out content without any fucking facts or clues. Yeah, that's true. If anything, it was just plagiarism for whoever wrote the article the first time when all that <laughs> stuff actually broke. They, Although, it might have even been their own article. They just copied and pasted and added the sentence from the second. Uh, no updates. Just read the article again so we can get more You think more they do that a lot at Yahoo News or whatever? They, they just copy, paste, and then they go, here's what we know so far, dot, 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 paste their own article. I get paid again. <laughs> <laughs> with with oh actually what they added i think was the new instagram picture when he uh updated yeah yeah that's true but uh, if anything i will say this is this is more journalistic integrity than most journalists in 2022 i uh, a lot of them would have just gone on rumors and speculations or made shit up and then not get called on it when they're fucking wrong so i hey man hats off to you for not just lying that is true. That is a good point. All right. Now, moving. that said, uh, I I do think that it will be tough for him to play the character Hawkeye with one leg. If that if that rumor is true, because it's like a bow and arrow. You, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not like. Balance. It, yeah, it's not like a regular super or, you know, like many superpowers where it's like, I shoot fireballs. I can do that seated. No. This is like you got to get up, you got to pull, you got to have balance, you got to all of that. And so he's either going to get had to get a new superpower or it's like, let's face it, the bow and arrow thing, kind of a shitty superpower anyway. I mean, your only weakness is anybody who shows up with a musket or better. That kind of fucking sucks. <laughs> You're basically Joe Rogan without the podcast money. Like, like, what the fuck? You know, you should be hunting elk for the real superheroes at that point. But. Maybe this could make him better because he was he could get a hold of it. Like, guys, I was since I, I don't have a leg, I was Googling new shooting techniques. Uh, you know what I mean? Because I, I got to kind of work around this. Have you guys heard of these things called firearms? Holy shit, guys. I think I could be of even more <laughs> used to you. I think because honestly, people have been using them against me. I, I didn't know what they were. I thought they were their superpowers. I thought they threw fireballs or little things of lead. They just they were alica dab boom. I, no, this is like a whole fucking ordeal. Like wars have been won and lost on these things. I can, you know, I could shoot a guy for like a mile away, depending on my scope. 
and and the caliber and the the, the model. Of the, I don't even have to get up, dude. Like I could. I'm gonna well, it's be easier better. actually if you're prone and laying and aiming, you know, like uh, and yeah, than yeah. standing. He's gonna be like, look. In fact, I I think I think superpowers are outdated, guys. I got a drone. I got a fucking drone. I'm gonna sit here with a joystick <laughs> and just bomb our enemies from like I just miles away, guys. We don't even need to use superpowers anymore. Well, I have I have uh, good news for you. The last I googled it while you were the last leg rumors were six days ago. There, oh, there's nothing new. Uh, there's absolutely nothing before six days. So they saved this leg? Well, I, I guess it was just a rumor. It said, leg amputation worries loom over Jeremy Renner fans. Will Jeremy Renner lose his leg? Uh, Jeremy, And these are all six days ago. So I think if anything had happened with his leg, uh, it would have been updated at any point within the last six days. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it didn't get copied and pasted. So that's how you yes. know it was bullshit the first time. And then if, if I could get my nerd on... For one second, uh, Renner became one of the most developed characters uh, Hawkeye did because uh, they they actually answered that with the bow and arrow. So they gave him a family, they gave him a home life, they gave him conflict. They they showed him being abused, like he had to put ice packs on because he's just mortal. So he, he was a well developed character, Hawkeye. So they had to wait a minute. So he's got more weaknesses and a shittier superpower. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. Me? How does this guy <laughs> is is this like some kind of affirmative action thing? Like, well, we have to have at least more one mortal here with <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he can't really do much. But, you, you know, like he. Yeah, he, he shows up with bruises and dress kind of funny. It's you know, he doesn't have the cape. He's you know, he's got camo and a compound bow. He's something we could all relate to because, hey, I get hurt when I uh, when I fight the super villains too. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking brutal being Hawkeye, man. On screen and off screen. All right, next story. Hey, uh, Jake, uh, we used to call climate change global warming, and then they realized that uh, global warming was too specific, and climate change was a little more dynamic, and you could sure. mold it the way you needed to. Well, um. Global warming is kind of back. Russia's gamble on energy backfires spectacularly as the world experiences a warm winter and plummeting gas futures. So uh, Russia was banking on a cold, cold winter in order to sell their product and uh, starve out Ukraine. And turns out Europe is uh, making the transition away from Russian um, fuel uh, quite nicely because the winter's been uh, warmer than expected and expected. And it's uh, predictions are sh saying it's going to be warmer through mid January. So, so there you go. Thanks, global warming. You are helping Ukraine uh, fight the war against Russia, the invasion. And uh, thank you, global warming. You're helping Europe wean itself from Russian fuel. So, God bless global warming. I guess is the stance we're taking on this podcast. You hear that, people? Gas up those SUVs. <laughs> drive in a circle, listening to this podcast. That's how we defeat Russia and Ukraine. We, we are pro-circumcision and pro-global warming. We're trying to piss off people everywhere. Yep, yep. I'm just going to be driving moils back and forth from gigs for free. <laughs> We're going to be Did taking the scenic route. Anybody listening for the very first time, uh, years ago, Jake and I discovered that there was a, a pro- get surgery to reattach your foreskin movement, and we made a joke about it. The anti-circumcision movement. Yeah, and it was uh, by far our most popular episode. We got hate mail. We got hate comments. People so from this group so angry at us that uh, we said, yeah, circumcision, who cares? It, it, it's not like we even took a pro, uh, like, <laughs> we everyone should get circumcised stance. We just thought it was silly they existed, and boy, did they react. No, yeah, I don't even think you really, did you even mention them? I think you just mentioned that you got your kids circumcised at the beginning of the episode, and then we said, oh. I don't give a fuck what you guys do circumcision-wise. It's your kid's baby dick, so, you know, do what you want with it. And and, and then, You're and right. That, we talked we were, about them after. You are absolutely yeah, right. I just mentioned We were the passing. Switzerland in that shit. Then they showed up, and then we made fun of them. Oh, you are right. Good memory yeah. on you. All, all we said, all... Basically, your stance was like kind of the same as mine. It's like, hey, man, uh, they're circumcised in porn and there's no uncircumcised dildos. So like yeah. that's in style right now. <laughs> I want the kid to get laid. But you guys do what you want. Like, you know, it's yeah. uh, we're not the czar of, of baby dicks or whatever. And then, you, you know, like that right there, that most across the board, even handed. We're Switzerland kind of uh, 
kind of comment that got that got us trolled by these people. Yep. And then we made I will fun say, of them instead of backing down. How small are, are are your dicks that you're so insecure that you got to go around yelling about the foreskin? I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. Hey, if you need that millimeter, you need it. I mean, come on, man. It's you're really trying to make lemonade with that fucking micro penis, you <laughs> anti circumcision freaks. <laughs> Do we want to continue on this path or talk about Russia or move on? I don't uh, care. I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you one thing. That Putin's probably got a small uncircumcised dick. I'll tell you <laughs> that right now. <laughs> D- G- Z- Zelensky, massive circumcised hog. That's oh, why he's winning, and that's why dick. women love him. All right, moving on. But I was a with uh, with global warming in Russia. Uh, yeah, how weird would it be? If Putin called up Greta Thunberg and be like, listen, Greta, we are we are strangely on the same side. We need to we need to fight global warming. You tell me what I need the bots to do. <laughs> I would I would get people on your side. We you need to use less emissions so I can sell them oil. So I could sell them oil and win this uh, invasion so I can win back territory that hasn't been mine since forever. Yep, yep. It's 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 weird. It's it's people linking up you never thought would. This is gonna be like the red wedding in Game of Thrones. It's gonna be wild. Be like uh when the California wired wildfires threatened horses and James Woods and Alyssa Milano started tweeting nice things at one another, like retweeting and and then they went back to just fucking viciously hating one another. But while the horses yep. were in danger, Alyssa Milano and uh and uh who did I just say? Woods. Uh, James Woods were friends. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that Greta Thunberg speech where she calls Zelensky a Nazi. That's that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> it's going to be wild, dude. She's going to say that the invasion was justified because there were Nazis in the Ukraine government. The that's Ukrainian right. With government. giant carbon footprints, giant anti-Semitic carbon footprints. <laughs> it's getting 23. 23 is going to be wild, dude. We have this happens all the time. We have the ideas no one else thinks of. And, uh, you know, Putin, we could be helping you right now. You just don't listen to us. That's on it's, you. I mean, that's what he gets for not liking and subscribing to the podcast that Putin. Absolutely what he gets. You'd be winning this thing if you listen to us more, dude. All right. Paramount, the movie studio, hit with one hundred million dollar sexual abuse suit by stars of 1968's romeo and juliet movie now i read the first part of this story and i was absolutely sort of on the side of the actors uh because apparently they were ages 15 and 16 and the director said hey you gotta show tits and ass that's all there is to it and my initial that is reaction, pretty wild it would never be in a movie today i, I it shouldn't have been that. in 1968 but i get it flower power hippies and and also i think i mean was it filmed in america i know it was a, a italian director but either way um I, I, I immediately knee jerk reaction went, ooh, I, who, who's putting a 15 year old in and right. saying you got to show your boobs? That's 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 wrong on every level. Uh, give them the money. Then you start hearing that as as late as 2018, she was giving interviews saying, you know, that's the way it was back then. It was artistic, uh, flower power, hippies. You know, I was young. I had right. a good body. Whatever. And then. California sta- changes the statute of lip- limitations saying, hey, no limit. You can just sue. And suddenly the stories turn and say, yeah, uh, some lawyer you know, gets a hold of her. Yeah. And a lawyer gets a hold of her. And uh, how do I put this? I-, I Googled the pictures and I saw a blurred shot because I didn't want to look at a. I just Googled and you find a news story that uh, um, they are saying in the lawsuit uh, coercion, probably true. Hey, just uh, show your. But they say that the director lied, said, look at the camera. Uh, this is going to be the shot. We can't have you covered, but don't worry. Nobody's going to see anything. And then you look at the shot and it's like she's sitting up in bed or I, I was like, no, there, there's you are laying. There's no way no one could have tricked you and said and, unless he put the camera right in front of her face and said, all I'm looking at is your nostril. Don't worry. Nobody's going to see anything. Um, I still am on their side as far as it never should have happened. Right. But like the Nirvana baby, if you're going to say it's 100 cool, million's a bit much. Yeah. Well, like the Nirvana baby, if you're going to say it's cool for years and years and decades and decades, you, you can't suddenly flip your story and say, I was traumatized. I never worked again. I got blacklisted because that's what they're saying too. 100 million a bit much. 
Paramount should throw them each one to five million dollars. Say, you know, they're each in their 70s now. Give them a million bucks to retire. This is a lawyer saying, I want a settlement. Yeah, this is this is a money grab. See, me, um, I I did watch the scene because uh, I I study purposes for research. I do my due diligence for this. Yes, I'm not afraid to end up on a list for this podcast. <laughs> now, granted, okay, I definitely watched it in cognito mode for that reason because I'm like, this is some weird shit that I'm going. But I just basically Googled the article yeah. and immediately the videos popped up. So that's my first red flag to where I'm like, all right, this probably is not much. You know what I mean? If they're yeah. that young and there's this is still like hasn't been scrubbed from the internet fucking decades ago, this probably ain't much. I watched the scene. It's them laying in bed afterwards. You get a side shot of the dude's butt as the camera's kind of scrolling, and then she's got her hair covering her breasts, and he's just kind of kissing her and stuff. And but then he gets up and walks over, and she like gets up and kind of like throws a pillow at her, and the hair moves, and that's when you see the breast. And that's the picture I saw because I yeah. saw her sitting. So okay, I didn't know that's that the, was the in thing. the scene. It's pretty quick, dude. Honestly, if I was googling this because I was straight up a a a, a pervert, I'd be one disappointed pervert. Is, <laughs> is all I'm saying. Is like it's it, and I get that it it's definitely weird and it should not be in the movie. Yeah. That said, I have to believe. Like, there's part of me that's going well. I think the director may not have wanted those on there because he's like, well, people might notice them on there and it may take them out of the movie because they're like, what's the fucking thing? You know, that said, could have just covered them with the whole blanket. I mean, that would have been just as easy and it wouldn't have taken away from the story. Here's the thing. The, the Shakespeare's play, arguably the most famous play of all time. And it wasn't famous because I heard it. That you see a nipple from a 15 year old in the play when you go to see Shakespeare. Like, that's not, <laughs> you can do the play. It's a compelling story. You could do it without the tits. So, it's well, definitely and, a crazy and thing. what you're saying, uh, it, it, back then, it would have been a boy playing Juliet as well. So, that it's definitely true. wouldn't have been sold on nudity. I heard this 15 year old boy looks just like a girl. Let's get some lube and see old William's nude tail you know like it's not yeah that wasn't going on back then so you definitely should have had them covered uh, uh that's how many there, there wasn't a whole lot to show what was it rated was it pg or r it must have been i mean because you used to get away with more back then but either way yeah. dude uh, how many was, times on tv I'm or telling even you, in movies do you see that they have a love scene and she she's wearing a top like that happens all the time where they, right. they show a lovemaking scene and she's wearing a shirt because they didn't need the nudity. And I will say, definitely don't need the nudity when the girl is 15. It's right. It's it's super unnecessary. Yeah, the guy shouldn't have done it. That said, um, the actual scene where she's loving we're talking like a little bit longer than the real time Janet Jackson nipple slip. Like it's it's fucking I'm telling you, if you went to the theater just because you're a pervert and you heard that that scene was in there, you'd be asking for your money back. You'd be like, I need to go to the seat of your theaters because I had to listen to two hours of how these do they die just for one nipple slip. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm a pervert, not a not a not a not a movie buff, not a not not a historical literature fan. I wanted to see something that uh, excites only me. Yeah, so hey. it's like I didn't, you know, by them calling it like porn, porn, like it it, it wasn't. I mean, yeah. it was, and can I say something sexist uh, against our gender? Okay, the girl, and and again, this is sexist. Maybe it's because uh, I. I feel protective of more so like she should not have been put in that situation. Sure. But the dude crying about his butt cheek getting shown, dude, fucking shut up. You fucking cry, baby piece of shit. I, yeah, you're a dude. You were 16. They saw your butt. Get over it. You definitely see more of that guy's butt than you saw of boob. I'll give him that. That said, uh, I think that just got him laid. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I think he just he was Romeo in the movie and he well, and fucked it, a lot back then. It goes back to what we said about their Nirvana baby. You you made the joke. All he had to do was tell women, oh, no, you, you want to see it? It's grown a lot since then. You don't be ashamed of it. You're like, yeah, I was Romeo. That was my ass. Uh, you want to see it in person? It, yeah, it probably got him massive tail. Yeah, I mean, you would think if it was that big a deal, at least by the 90s, at least like 30 years later, you maybe would have. 
uh, started some kind of actors against ass shot coalition or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Just, you know, it would have been a thing before now. Is, right. Is all I'm saying. All right. One more story. And uh, we're going back to the media a little here, but that's not the focus. Um, the clickbait headline, and we've talked about this. Sometimes you see a clickbait headline, and when you click it, the headline headline is different. So when I initially saw the thumbnail and said, ooh, I should click this story, it was um, different from what I clicked on. It said something about Prince Harry gets scolded for uh, you know using poor word choice, or it was definitely not what I clicked over to, which was it didn't mention Taliban leaders respond to Prince Harry's reported claim in his book Spare. He killed 25 fighters in Afghanistan. The thumbnail was uh, that that Harry was scolded for talking about human lives as disposable. And then you find out it's the Taliban saying, hey, these were people, these were men with families, and you're just talking about them like you killed. It's like, uh, Taliban. These men had wives to stone to death at home. How dare you, Prince Harry, exactly. talk about them like that? Exactly. The thumbnail was all about Harry treating life casually, and it turns out it was the Taliban whining that he did not respect their dead. Um, you they guys had are daughters kinda... to sell for chickens and cows and stuff. Yes. You are the worst people on the planet outside of ISIS. You don't get to complain when your assholes are killed. My friend Frank had an honor killing that he was going to attend for his own daughter that next day. And now he had to miss his own daughter's honor killing. He had to miss his own. You only get one honor killing for your little girl. How dare you, Prince Harry? Oh, that one really got me. Uh, oh, oh and if you read the article, uh, Harry just says that in war, when you were trying to take out Taliban leaders, it was like playing chess. And their response was, the ones you killed were not chess pieces. They were humans. They had families who were waiting for their return. All right. Um, again, Jake, you've already made jokes that are better than anything I'm going to say, but my response would be maybe they didn't have to be Taliban assholes. Maybe when the Taliban said, Hey, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, create the society that is uh, full of sexism and repression and a bizarre, horrible take on our religion. You could have gone, ah, not for me. You know, the idea that just, these were, these were humans with families. Yeah. That you didn't respect and that you belittled the women in uh, fuck off. I will say yes, and I've mentioned this before. I don't want to dwell on it too much because it's kind of fucking dark. When I was there, I was in Paktia province from 2010 to 2011. I mean, like in my AO while I was there, this isn't just, you know, some shit that happened in the country at some point. Yeah, yeah there's going to be horrible things that every army does in every single war. That said, it the shit they would do to the civilians on a regular basis was basis was rampant. They would kill whole families there. They they bombed a school while I was there. They would set up checkpoints and rob civilians. At one of those checkpoints, they pulled two kids out of the car and raped them at gunpoint in front of the families and the whole line. I mean, one was seven, one was nine, one was a boy, one was a girl. It would like so I. Yeah, I I don't think they're chess pieces. I think they're piles of fucking shit who should be removed from the goddamn planet. Yes, well, goddamn put. All right, visit jakevevra.com, visit nathantimmel.com. In fact, I think just to get back at the Taliban further, I think they should send Meghan Markle. That's right. Steal the Taliban's most slow-learning prince. That's what I say. And then write it, make a fucking Netflix doc about what a cunt he is right after he died. <laughs> there you go. At least you ended on a joke because, as you said, that got dark. But the Taliban deserves everything that fucking happens to him. Every bomb that lands on a Taliban soldier or leader. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. All right. Yep. Talk to you next week. Later.